हेलो फ्रेंड्स दोस्तों अभी तक आपने अगर हमारा चैनल नहीं किया सब्सक्राइब तो जल्दी से जल्दी चैनल को कीजिए सब्सक्राइब और साथ ही साथ बेल आइकन को दबाना मत भूलिए दोस्तों ऐसा करने से हमारी हर वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन आप तक पहुंचेगा सबसे पहले तो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो कैसे हो दोस्तों दोस्तों आज की वीडियो में हम रिव्यू करने जा रहे हैं रॉक की फिल्म स्काई स्क्रैपर का तो डरना बुरी बात नहीं होती कभी कभी बहादुर बनने के लिए डरना जरूरी होता है फिल्म स्काई स्क्रैपर के एक सीन में डेविन जॉनसन अपने बेटे को यह शिक्षा देता है तो खुद भी मुश्किल परिस्थितियों में इस पर अमल करते हैं यह फिल्म स्वायर की कहानी है जो कि एफ एजेंट था दस साल पहले एक ऑपरेशन में लोगों की जान बचाने के दौरान वो अपनी टांग गवा देता है अब वह ऊंची इमारतों की सिक्योरिटी को चेक करने वाली एक कंपनी चलाता है उसकी पत्नी और दो जुड़वा बच्चे उसके साथ ही रहते हैं तो स्वायर का एक दोस्त उसकी मुलाकात हांगकांग में दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची इमारत पॉल के मालिक से कराता है जो कि उससे अपनी बिल्डिंग की सेफ्टी चेक कराना चाहता है वह स्वायर को अपनी बिल्डिंग के तमाम सिक्योरिटी एक्सेस से जुड़ा टैबलेट देता है दरअसल पार्क का मालिक बिल्डिंग के रेजिडेंशियल फ्लोर भी खोलना चाहता है इस दौरान स्वायर की फैमिली भी एक फ्लोर पर ही रुकती है अपनी फैमिली को जू भेजकर स्वायर अपने दोस्त के साथ बिल्डिंग की सिक्योरिटी चेक करने कंट्रोल रूम जाता है इसी बीच उस पर हमला होता है और हमलावर उसका बैग छीन भाग जाता है दरअसल वह हमलावर वह टैबलेट छीनना चाहता था लेकिन वह स्वायर के जेब में ही था तब स्वायर को पता लगता है कि वह बड़ी साजिश का शिकार हो गया है और उसको बिल्डिंग के मालिक से मिलवाने वाले उसके दोस्त ने उसका इस्तेमाल उसका टैबलेट लेने के लिए किया है दरअसल वह एक गैंग से जुड़ा है जो पवल के मालिक से बदला लेना चाहते हैं इसी बीच गैंग के लोग स्वायर पर हमला करके उससे टैबलेट छीन लेते हैं वहीं गैंग के बाकी लोग बिल्डिंग का सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम फेल करके वहां आग लगा देते हैं स्वायर को पता चलता है कि उसकी पत्नी और बच्चे भी पॉल में लौट चुके हैं तो वह उन्हें बचाने के लिए अपनी जान पर खेल कर आग लगी हुई बिल्डिंग में घुस जाता है स्वायर अपनी फैमिली को बचा पाता है या नहीं यह जानने के लिए आपको हमारी वीडियो के साथ बने रहना पड़ेगा यूं तो यह फिल्म महज एक बिल्डिंग की कहानी है लेकिन डायरेक्टर ने अनोखी बिल्डिंग दिखाई है फिल्म कहीं भी आपको बोर नहीं होने देती दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची बिल्डिंग होने के साथ वह सिक्योरिटी के मामले में भी आगे है स्वायर ने अपनी फैमिली को बचाने के लिए कई हैरत सीन किए हैं डोइन जॉनसन ने फिल्म में बेहतरीन एक्टिंग की है वहीं उनके साथी कलाकारों ने भी अपने रोल्स को ठीक ठाक से निभाया है फिल्म का फर्स्ट हाफ कसा हुआ है तो सेकंड हाफ और भी रोमांचक है फिल्म के कुछ सीन्स सिहारन पर है पैदा करते हैं अगर वीकेंड पर कुछ रोमांचक देखना चाहते हैं तो आप ये फिल्म जरूर देख सकते हैं अगर बजट और तकनीक का समर्थन हो तो साधारण आइडिया पर भी एक रोचक फिल्म बन सकती है हर साल भारत में रिलीज होने ढेरों हॉलीवुड फिल्में ऐसी ही होती हैं तो स्काई स्क्रैपर भी एक ऐसी ही फिल्म है रॉक के नाम से मशहूर डब्ल्यू के पूर्व पहलवान डेन जॉनसन जॉनसन डेन डगलस जॉनसन और निर्देशक रोशन मार्शल थर्बर की जोड़ी की यह दूसरी फिल्म है इसके पहले दोनों कॉमेडी फिल्म सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस में साथ काम कर चुके हैं स्काई स्क्रैपर में भी इस जोड़ी ने निराश नहीं किया है विजुअल इफेक्ट्स और कंप्यूटर जनरेटेड इमेजनरी के शानदार इस्तेमाल ने साधारण कहानी के बावजूद इस एक्शन थ्रिलर में जान डाल दी है विल सॉयर अमेरिका की घरेलू खुफिया एजेंसी एफबीआई में काम करता है एक ऑपरेशन में वह बुरी तरह जख्मी हो जाता है और उसकी एक पैर घुटने के नीचे से काटना पड़ता है उसकी सर्जरी आर्मी सर्जन सारा करती है बाद में दोनों शादी कर लेते हैं विल प्रोस्थेटिक पैर के सहारे सामान्य जिंदगी जीने लगता है 
कुछ साल बाद उसे हांगकांग की एक गगनचुंबी इमारत पॉल की सुरक्षा का जिम्मा दिया जाता है पॉल दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची एक किलोमीटर से ज्यादा ऊंची 225 मंजिला इमारत है उसके मालिक झाओ लॉन्ग जी का दावा है कि उसने दुनिया का आठवां अजूबा बनाया है झाओ का एक दुश्मन है कॉरेस बोथा जो झाओ से एक खास चीज हासिल करने के लिए पॉल को तबाह कर देना चाहता है वह पॉल में आग लगा देता है और उसके सारे सुरक्षा सिस्टम को हैक कर लेता है उस इमारत में विल की पत्नी और बेटा बेटी भी फंसे हुए हैं विल उनको बचाने के लिए अपने जान की बाजी तक लगा देता है इस फिल्म में एक्शन शानदार है देखने में वह अवश्वसनीय लगता है पर जबरदस्त रोमांच पैदा करता है उसे करते हुए जो इन विश्वसनीय लगते हैं फिल्म में कहानी के नाम पर कुछ खास नहीं है पर उसे जिस तरह पेश किया गया है वह दर्शकों को बांधे रखता है फिल्म की गति बहुत तेज है और यह कभी भी भूजल नहीं होती पॉल के रूप में दर्शकों को भविष्य की भवन निर्माण तकनीक से रूबरू होने का मौका जरूर मिलता है जो इन एक्शन के साथ भावनात्मक दृश्यों में भी प्रभावित करते हैं नेवे कैंपबेल का अभिनय भी अच्छा है रोलिंड मोलर चिन हान और वायरन मेन का काम भी अच्छा है अगर रोमांच पसंद है तो यह फिल्म आपको एक रोमांचक अनुभव प्रदान जरूर करेगी तो डरना बुरी बात नहीं होती कभी कभी बहादुर बनने के लिए डरना जरूरी होता है फिल्म स्काई स्क्रैपर के एक सीन में डेविन जॉनसन अपने बेटे को यह शिक्षा देता है तो खुद भी मुश्किल परिस्थितियों में इस पर अमल करते हैं यह फिल्म स्वायर की कहानी है जो कि एफबीआई एजेंट था दस साल पहले एक ऑपरेशन में लोगों की जान बचाने के दौरान वह अपनी टांग गवा देता है अब वह ऊंची इमारतों की सिक्योरिटी को चेक करने वाली एक कंपनी चलाता है उसकी पत्नी और दो जुड़वा बच्चे उसके साथ ही रहते हैं तो स्वायर का एक दोस्त उसकी मुलाकात हांगकांग में दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची इमारत पॉल के मालिक से कराता है जो कि उससे अपनी बिल्डिंग की सेफ्टी चेक कराना चाहता है वह स्वायर को अपनी बिल्डिंग के तमाम सिक्योरिटी एक्सेस से जुड़ा टैबलेट देता है दरअसल पॉल का मालिक बिल्डिंग के रेजिडेंशियल फ्लोर भी खोलना चाहता है इस दौरान स्वायर की फैमिली भी एक फ्लोर पर ही रुकती है अपनी फैमिली को जू भेजकर स्वायर अपने दोस्त के साथ बिल्डिंग की सिक्योरिटी चेक करने कंट्रोल रूम जाता है इसी बीच उस पर हमला होता है और हमलावर उसका बैग छीन कर भाग जाता है दरअसल वह हमलावर वह टैबलेट छीनना चाहता था लेकिन वह स्वायर के जेब में ही था तब स्वायर को पता लगता है कि वह बड़ी साजिश का शिकार हो गया है और उसको बिल्डिंग के मालिक से मिलवाने वाले उसके दोस्त ने उसका इस्तेमाल उसका टैबलेट लेने के लिए किया है दरअसल वह एक गैंग से जुड़ा है जो पॉल के मालिक से बदला लेना चाहते हैं इसी बीच गैंग के लोग स्वायर पर हमला करके उससे टैबलेट छीन लेते हैं वहीं गैंग के बाकी लोग बिल्डिंग का सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम फेल करके वहां आग लगा देते हैं स्वायर को पता चलता है कि उसकी पत्नी और बच्चे भी पॉल में लौट चुके हैं तो वह उन्हें बचाने के लिए अपनी जान पर खेल कर आग लगी हुई बिल्डिंग में घुस जाता है स्वायर अपनी फैमिली को बचा पाता है या नहीं यह जानने के लिए आपको हमारी वीडियो के साथ बने रहना पड़ेगा यूं तो यह फिल्म महज एक बिल्डिंग की कहानी है लेकिन डायरेक्टर ने अनोखी बिल्डिंग दिखाई है फिल्म कहीं भी आपको बोर नहीं होने देती दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची बिल्डिंग होने के साथ वह सिक्योरिटी के मामले में भी आगे है स्वायर ने अपनी फैमिली को बचाने के लिए कई हैरत अंगेज सीन किए हैं डोइंग जॉनसन ने फिल्म में बेहतरीन एक्टिंग की है वहीं उनके साथी कलाकारों ने भी अपने रोल्स को ठीक ठाक से निभाया है फिल्म का फर्स्ट हाफ कसा हुआ है तो सेकंड हाफ और भी रोमांचक है फिल्म के कुछ सीन्स 
सहारन पर है पैदा करते हैं अगर वीकेंड पर कुछ रोमांचक देखना चाहते हैं तो आप ये फिल्म जरूर देख सकते हैं अगर बजट और तकनीक का समर्थन हो तो साधारण आइडिया पर भी एक रोचक फिल्म बन सकती है हर साल भारत में रिलीज होने ढेरों हॉलीवुड फिल्में ऐसी ही होती हैं तो स्काई स्टेपर भी एक ऐसी ही फिल्म है रॉक के नाम से मशहूर डब्ल्यू के पूर्व पहलवान डेन जॉनसन जॉनसन डेन डगलस जॉनसन और निर्देशक रोशन मार्शल थर्बर की जोड़ी की यह दूसरी फिल्म है इसके पहले दोनों कॉमेडी फिल्म सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस में साथ काम कर चुके हैं स्काई स्कैपर में भी इस जोड़ी ने निराश नहीं किया है विजुअल इफेक्ट्स और कंप्यूटर जनरेटेड इमेजिनरी के शानदार इस्तेमाल ने साधारण कहानी के बावजूद इस एक्शन थ्रिलर में जान डाल दी है विल सॉयर अमेरिका की घरेलू खुफिया एजेंसी एफबीआई में काम करता है एक ऑपरेशन में वह बुरी तरह जख्मी हो जाता है और उसकी एक पैर घुटने के नीचे से काटना पड़ता है उसकी सर्जरी आर्मी सर्जन सारा करती है बाद में दोनों शादी कर लेते हैं विल प्रोस्थेटिक पैर के सहारे सामान्य जिंदगी जीने लगता है कुछ साल बाद उसे हांगकांग की एक गगनचुंबी इमारत पॉल की सुरक्षा का जिम्मा दिया जाता है पॉल दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची एक किलोमीटर से ज्यादा ऊंची 225 मंजिला इमारत है उसके मालिक झाओ लॉन्ग जी का दावा है कि उसने दुनिया का आठवां अजूबा बनाया है झाओ का एक दुश्मन है कॉरेस बोथा जो झाओ से एक खास चीज हासिल करने के लिए पॉल को तबाह कर देना चाहता है वह पॉल में आग लगा देता है और उसके सारे सुरक्षा सिस्टम को हैक कर लेता है उस इमारत में विल की पत्नी और बेटा बेटी भी फंसे हुए हैं विल उनको बचाने के लिए अपने जान की बाजी तक लगा देता है इस फिल्म में एक्शन शानदार है देखने में वह अवश्यसनीय लगता है पर जबरदस्त रोमांच पैदा करता है उसे करते हुए ज्वाइन विश्वसनीय लगते हैं फिल्म में कहानी के नाम पर कुछ खास नहीं है पर उसे जिस तरह पेश किया गया है वह दर्शकों को बांधे रखता है फिल्म की गति बहुत तेज है और यह कभी भी भूजल नहीं होती पॉल के रूप में दर्शकों को भविष्य की भवन निर्माण तकनीक से रूबरू होने का मौका जरूर मिलता है डोइन एक्शन के साथ भावनात्मक दृश्यों में भी प्रभावित करते हैं नेवे कैंपबेल का अभिनय भी अच्छा है रोलिंग मोलर चिन्हान और वायरन मेन का काम भी अच्छा है अगर रोमांच पसंद है तो यह फिल्म आपको एक रोमांचक अनुभव प्रदान जरूर करेगी तो डरना बुरी बात नहीं होती कभी कभी बहादुर बनने के लिए डरना जरूरी होता है फिल्म स्काई स्क्रैपर के एक सीन में डेविन जॉनसन अपने बेटे को यह शिक्षा देता है तो खुद भी मुश्किल परिस्थितियों में इस पर अमल करते हैं यह फिल्म स्वायर की कहानी है जो कि एफबीआई एजेंट था दस साल पहले एक ऑपरेशन में लोगों की जान बचाने के दौरान वो अपनी टांग गवा देता है अब वह ऊंची इमारतों की सिक्योरिटी को चेक करने वाली एक कंपनी चलाता है उसकी पत्नी और दो जुड़वा बच्चे उसके साथ ही रहते हैं तो स्वायर का एक दोस्त उसकी मुलाकात हांगकांग में दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची इमारत पॉल के मालिक से कराता है जो कि उससे अपनी बिल्डिंग की सेफ्टी चेक कराना चाहता है वह स्वायर को अपनी बिल्डिंग के तमाम सिक्योरिटी एक्सेस से जुड़ा टैबलेट देता है दरअसल पॉल का मालिक बिल्डिंग के रेजिडेंशियल फ्लोर भी खोलना चाहता है इस दौरान स्वायर की फैमिली भी एक फ्लोर पर ही रुकती है अपनी फैमिली को जू भेजकर स्वायर अपने दोस्त के साथ बिल्डिंग की सिक्योरिटी चेक करने कंट्रोल रूम जाता है इसी बीच उस पर हमला होता है और हमलावर उसका बैग छीनकर भाग जाता है दरअसल वह हमलावर वह टैबलेट छीनना चाहता था लेकिन वह स्वायर के जेब में ही था तब स्वायर को पता लगता है कि वह बड़ी साजिश का शिकार हो गया है और उसको बिल्डिंग के मालिक से 
मिलवाने वाले उसके दोस्त ने उसका इस्तेमाल उसका टैबलेट लेने के लिए किया है दरअसल वह एक गैंग से जुड़ा है जो पवल के मालिक से बदला लेना चाहते हैं इसी बीच गैंग के लोग स्वायर पर हमला करके उससे टैबलेट छीन लेते हैं वहीं गैंग के बाकी लोग बिल्डिंग का सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम फेल करके वहां आग लगा देते हैं स्वायर को पता चलता है कि उसकी पत्नी और बच्चे भी पॉल में लौट चुके हैं तो वह उन्हें बचाने के लिए अपनी जान पर खेल कर आग लगी हुई बिल्डिंग में घुस जाता है स्वायर अपनी फैमिली को बचा पाता है या नहीं यह जानने के लिए आपको हमारी वीडियो के साथ बने रहना पड़ेगा यूं तो यह फिल्म महज एक बिल्डिंग की कहानी है लेकिन डायरेक्टर ने अनोखी बिल्डिंग दिखाई है फिल्म कहीं भी आपको बोर नहीं होने देती दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची बिल्डिंग होने के साथ वह सिक्योरिटी के मामले में भी आगे है स्वायर ने अपनी फैमिली को बचाने के लिए कई हैरत अंगेज सीन किए हैं ड्रॉइंग जॉनसन ने फिल्म में बेहतरीन एक्टिंग की है वहीं उनके साथी कलाकारों ने भी अपने रोल्स को ठीक ठाक से निभाया है फिल्म का फर्स्ट हाफ कसा हुआ है तो सेकेंड हाफ और भी रोमांचक है फिल्म के कुछ सीन्स सिहारन पर है पैदा करते हैं अगर वीकेंड पर कुछ रोमांचक देखना चाहते हैं तो आप ये फिल्म जरूर देख सकते हैं अगर बजट और तकनीक का समर्थन हो तो साधारण आइडिया पर भी एक रोचक फिल्म बन सकती है हर साल भारत में रिलीज होने ढेरों हॉलीवुड फिल्में ऐसी ही होती हैं तो स्काई स्टेपर भी एक ऐसी ही फिल्म है रॉक के नाम से मशहूर डब्ल्यू के पूर्व पहलवान डेन जॉनसन जॉनसन डेन डगलस जॉनसन और निर्देशक रोशन मार्शल थर्बर की जोड़ी की यह दूसरी फिल्म है इसके पहले दोनों कॉमेडी फिल्म सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस में साथ काम कर चुके हैं स्काई स्कैपर में भी इस जोड़ी ने निराश नहीं किया है विजुअल इफेक्ट्स और कंप्यूटर जनरेटेड इमेजिनरी के शानदार इस्तेमाल ने साधारण कहानी के बावजूद इस एक्शन थ्रिलर में जान डाल दी है विल सॉयर अमेरिका की घरेलू खुफिया एजेंसी एफ में काम करता है एक ऑपरेशन में वह बुरी तरह जख्मी हो जाता है और उसकी एक पैर घुटने के नीचे से काटना पड़ता है उसकी सर्जरी आर्मी सर्जन सारा करती है बाद में दोनों शादी कर लेते हैं विल प्रोस्थेटिक पैर के सहारे सामान्य जिंदगी जीने लगता है कुछ साल बाद उसे हांगकांग की एक गगन चुंबी इमारत पॉल की सुरक्षा का जिम्मा दिया जाता है पॉल दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची एक किलोमीटर से ज्यादा ऊंची 225 मंजिला इमारत है उसके मालिक झाओ लॉन्ग जी का दावा है कि उसने दुनिया का आठवां अजूबा बनाया है झाओ का एक दुश्मन है कॉरेस बोथा जो झाओ से एक खास चीज हासिल करने के लिए पॉल को तबाह कर देना चाहता है वह पॉल में आग लगा देता है और उसके सारे सुरक्षा सिस्टम को हैक कर लेता है उस इमारत में विल की पत्नी और बेटा बेटी भी फंसे हुए हैं विल उनको बचाने के लिए अपने जान की बाजी तक लगा देता है इस फिल्म में एक्शन शानदार है देखने में वह अवश्वसनीय लगता है पर जबरदस्त रोमांच पैदा करता है उसे करते हुए जो इन विश्वसनीय लगते हैं फिल्म में कहानी के नाम पर कुछ खास नहीं है पर उसे जिस तरह पेश किया गया है वह दर्शकों को बांधे रखता है फिल्म की गति बहुत तेज है और यह कभी भी भूजल नहीं होती पॉल के रूप में दर्शकों को भविष्य की भवन निर्माण तकनीक से रूबरू होने का मौका जरूर मिलता है जो इन एक्शन के साथ भावनात्मक दृश्यों में भी प्रभावित करते हैं नेवे कैंपबेल का अभिनय भी अच्छा है रोलिंग मोलर चिन्हान और वायरन मेन का काम भी अच्छा है अगर रोमांच पसंद है तो यह फिल्म आपको एक रोमांचक अनुभव प्रदान जरूर करेगी स्काई स्क्रैपर इज अ 2018 अमेरिकन एक्शन थ्रिलर फिल्म रिटन एंड डायरेक्टेड बाय रासन मार्शल थर्बर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय लेजेंडरी पिक्चर्स सेवन बक्स प्रोडक्शंस एंड फ्लिन पिक्चर कॉर्पोरेशन द फिल्म स्टार्स डेने जॉनसन इन द लीड रोल नेवे कैंपबल चिन हैन रोलैंड मोलर नोवा टेलर बेरोन मान पाब्लो शेबियर एंड हना क्विंडलीवन The film follows Will Sire as a former FBI agent who must rescue his family from a newly built Hong Kong skyscraper, the tallest in the world after it is taken over by terrorists and set on fire, led by Kors Botha, who plans to steal the tablet 
the first non-comedy of Thurber's career. It also marks his second collaboration with Johnson following Central Intelligence in 2016. Filming began in September 2017 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So the film premiered in Beijing on July 1, 2018 and was released in United States by Universal Pictures on July 13, 2018 in 2D and Real D. 3D format and grossed over $304 million worldwide against its production budget of $125 million, making it a box office bomb. The film received mixed reviews from critics, who praised Johnson's performance and the film's suspenseful scenes, but criticized the story and script as glitched and too similar to the towering Inferno and Die Hard. <coughs> So the story of the movie, William Will Cyber, a marine veteran turned FBI hostage rescue team leader, loses his left leg below the knee when he and HRT colleague Ben Gillespie encounter a hostage taker with a suicide bomb. Ten years later, Cyber is a private security consultant who on a recommendation for Recommendation for Glispy is hired to review security for the world's tallest skyscraper, Hong Kong's 3,500 3, feet, 225 floor tower, the Paul, for owner Zhao Longji. Cyber is joined by his wife Sarah and twin children, Georgia and Henry, staying with him on the not yet opened residential floors. Saver meets with Zhao, Glispy security director, OKK and head insurance underwriter Pierce. To, to report that the computerized fire and security system have passed his tests. Though he needs to inspect the off-site security center. Zhao provides him with a tablet that gives Saver sec complete control over the poles systems. Saver and Glispy head to the off-site facility, but a thief hired by international terrorist Kors Botha attempts to steal the tablet. Glispy reveals he is also working for Botha and attacks Cyber for the tablet ending with Glispy's death. Botha and a group of his men break into the pearl and undermine the safety system by using a water reactive chemical to start a fire on the 96th floor creating a barrier that renders it impossible to enter to or exit from the upper 130 floors. Cyber tries to return to the Pearl but is attacked by Zia, one of the Botha's associates. Zia and her agents take the tablet and kill everyone at the off-site facility. They then use the tablet to disable the fire extinguishes system in the pearl and activate the air vents to spread the fire to the upper floors. Zhao and OKK send security guards to rescue Sire's family, but the guards are killed by an explosion and the family is believed dead. Urged on by peers, Zhao ordered the remaining personnel to evac evacuate via helicopter, but Pierce reveals he is also an FBI an agent for Botha, killing all but Zhao who escapes into his penthouse apartment, locking it down from any intrusion. So Inspector Wu leads the local police to secure the Paul and capture Cyber, who is believed to be behind the incident. Cyber evades them and makes his way into the Pearl above the fire barrier using a crane from an adjacent building. Cyber kills Pierce before Pierce can kill Cyber's family. Though Georgia is separated from the others, Cyber has Sarah and Henry ride through the fire barrier in a free fall elevator before applying the emergency brakes, letting them escape safely. Sarah immediately explains the switch in situation to Wu and that Botha's men will likely escape by parachute to a nearly landing zone. Saiba reaches for Georgia and after finding her they are captured by Botha who demands Zhao in return for Georgia. 
Cyber is forced to dangerously scale the outside of the building to assess the security panel for Zhao's penthouse. Then enters and confronts Zhao. Zhao explains that Botha had extorted money from him during the $6 billion construction product project. But Zhao kept a detailed computer file for the transaction. Who can reveal accounts and names of three crime syndicates Botha worked for. Botha instigated the attack to obtain the records. So Sayur brings Zhao to Botha at the top of the skyscraper, acquiescing to the trade for Georgia. However, Zhao distracts Botha, allowing Sayur and Zhao to kill Botha's thugs. Botha grabs Georgia and threatens to drop her off the building, but Cyber beats him, rescues Georgia, and lets Botha die in a grenade explosion as he fa falls, who leads to an attack on the likely drop zone, securing Zia and killing her thugs. Sarah recovers the tablet and used it to restart the pulse system, extinguishing the blaze. Cyber, Georgia, and Zhao are brought down safely by helicopter, and the Cyber family happily reunites while Wu acknowledges and finally meets and greets Cyber. Zhao states his intention to rebuild the pearl, shown to have massive fire damage extending from the 96th floor on the, to the roof. So, production, music, marketing, and release on May 26, 2020. 16. It was announced that Legendary Entertainment had won the bidding war for the Chinese set action adventure film Skyscraper, in which Dwayne Johnson was set to play the lead. Russell Marshall Thurber was attached as the film's scriptwriter, director, and producer, with B.O. Flynn producing the film through the Flynn Picture Company alongside Johnson's Seven Buck Productions, with Universal Pictures handling distribution rights. On June 22, 2017, it was reported that Nave Campbell has signed on to star with Johnson, who plays the head of security for the skyscraper, Maggie Q, Rachel Wilson, Jamie Alexander, and Mira Sorvino were also considered. In July 2017, Tin Han and Pablo Schreiber joined the cast. In August 2017, Byron Mann, Hannah Kunivlevan, Noah Taylor and Roland Muller were added to the cast. So, principal, principal photography on the film began on August 14, 2017 in Vancouver, British Columbia. Additional photography and exteriors were filmed at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Architectural rendering of the 25-story tall skyscraper was based on the Chinese inspirations. According to the New York Post, production designer Jim Bissell and his team researched local myth for inspiration and come upon a Chinese fable they could work with. During post-production, the visual effects were provided by Moving Picture Company, Method Studio, Image Engine and Industrial Light and Magic. The visual were sub supervised by Craig Hammack, Joe's Burgos, Barhard Kimbacher and Jason Bellington. Steve Japlonsky composed the film's score with which uses elements of guitar, synthesized drums and traditional orchestra. The soundtrack was digitally released on July 13, 2018 by Milan Records with the physical soundtrack being released later on August 33, 2018. British singer and songwriter Jamie N. Cummins performed the song Walls which plays in the credit and credit of the film. So Universal released the first official trailer in February 2018 and the second trailer on May 23, 2018. Promo posters in the form of the towering Informo and Die Hard were created, referencing the stylistic links between those films and Skyscraper. Skyscraper was released in the United States as well as several international territories in 3D and standard formats on July 13, 2018 by Universal Pictures. The film also secured a July 2018 release date in China, a rarity as mainstream Hollywood films are seldom released these during the month of July to make room for domestic films. 
skyscraper premiered in Beijing on July 1, 2018 and also held a screening in Hong Kong on July 7, 2018. Skyscraper was released digitally on September 25, 2018 and released on Blu-ray, DVD, Blu-ray, 3D and 4K Blu-ray on October 2, 2018. So, Skyscraper cost 68.4 million US dollars in the United States and Canada and 336.4 US dollars, million US dollars in the other territories for a total of cost 304.9 million US dollars against a production budget of 125 million US dollars. So, on the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 48% of 293 critics review are positive with an aggregate rating of 5.20 out of 10 the website's consensus reads well cast yet derivative skyscraper isn't exactly a towering action thriller feat but it's solidly constructed enough to stand among the yanner more mildly diverting features on metacritics which assigns a weighted average rating to review the film has a score of 51 out of 100 based on 42 critics indicating mixed on average reviews audiences poll by cinema score gave the film an average grade of b plus on a a plus to f scale oh, the signature promotional image of skyscraper the latest johnny johnson summer extravaganza featuring the charismatic blockbuster star hanging from a soaring building by only his left hand his wedding ring gleams prominently in the foreground, illuminated by the deadly blaze that's ragging all around him. The ring draws our attention as powerfully as the earnest intensity in his eyes. A reminder that, not unlike the Fast and Furious franchise in which Johnson figures so prominently, the story is all about family, mainly though it's a mindless smash-up of Die Hard and the Towering Inferno. Just intense enough to provide a much needed diversion. Just lightweight enough to make you forget about it soon after it's over. It's not exactly good per se, but it does have what it sets out to do in terms of putting up on edge, which makes it successful. But writer director Rasan Marshall Thurber has attempted the problematic combination of making you feel good about bravery and resilience while also making you feel nothing about the countless bodies that get blown on bits in a hail of automatic gunfire. Many, many people die needlessly in the PG-13 spectacle in the name of thrills maybe, character development, the international cadre of criminals who take over a Hong Kong high-rise, the tallest structure in the world, three times the size of the Empire State Building, are clearly singularly bad. Having them burst into people's offices and obliterate them entirely, while the camera steers away from the bloodshed per MPAA guidelines feel gratuitous. You are not here to think though. You are here to have fun and Skyscraper does indeed provide that in its many dizzying and death-defying action sequences. It's the connective tissue between the daring stunts that films. But first, a flashback to 10 years ago. Johnson's Will Cyber is a highly trained Marine and FBI agent who is in charge of a hostage negotiation that goes horribly wrong. Having lost his left leg below the knee in that explosion incident, Will now serves as a security consultant. His latest job has taken him, his wife Sarah and their twins to Hong Kong, where he must analyze the safety of the pearl before it opens. A shining, self-contained city, stretching 200 plus stories into the clouds. It's the brainchild of billionaire Zhao Longji. Characters stand around and provide painfully clunky expository dialogue, all of which will matter at some point later. Detailing the building's many high-tech features, 
Not for long though. Thurber isn't terribly interested in steadily building tension. Skyscraper kicks into a gear pretty quickly and remains relentless. A team of villains led by the menacing cores Botha has broken in with highly flammable chemicals in order to steal the most McGuffiny of McGuffins. But when they torch the joint, they don't realize that Will's wife and kids are still inside one of the residential units. And as the flames rise higher and higher from the what begin as a thin orange line on the 96th floor, the danger and the insanity climb with them. Of course, because it's Johnson's playing his character, he will do whatever he must to save them. With each new obstacle that comes his way, presenting a more ridiculous challenge than the last. But what's novel about Johnson in this role is that he's, com he's not completely indestructible. His character uses a prosthetic leg and the film cleverly uses that as an asset, not an impediment. Individual moments certainly stand out with the st staggeringly overqualified Robert Alswist. Placing us in the midst of the fairy madness, Wells climbed to the top of a hundred story crane and his leap across the night sky to the pearl through a broken window is thrillingly staged. So, so is his use of duct tape to A. Patch up his wound before B, placing it on his hands and feet to Spider Man his way across the glass exterior. One of the more enjoyable parts of Skyscraper, and this was also true of Die Hard, is the way it makes us feel as if we are figuring out the plan minute by minute alongside the far more capable hero on the screen. Skyscraper also provides a surprisingly solid role for Campbell. Sarah is never a damsel in distress, but rather a combat trainer, surgeon capable of kicking her own allotment of but while also caring for her kids. Imagine if she were the one tasked with saving the day and her family and the entire building. Now that would try be trying be thriller. When the first footage from Skyscraper was launched earlier this, that year, most online conservation revolved around the staggering incredulity of the trailer's money shot. Dwayne Johnson, the rock, making the Ethan Hunt SQ leap from a crane into the broken window of a building. Everyone from the math professor to meme makers critiqued the physic, and even Johnson snappily responded on Twitter. But for me, the most unlikely element was the inclusion of Johnson himself. How on earth does the wrestler turned actor find the time to headline so many damn movies? Does he sleep? Has he undergone a multiplicity like experimental cloning procedure? Because in the last seven months, he managed to game a winning $962 million worldwide from a belated Jomanji's sequel and turn the arcade adaption rampage into a stampending $424 million global smash. He is easily the most bankable star working in Hollywood today as well as one of the most likable but can his star power extend to three box office hits in such a short period of time. Reuniting with the director Rasam Rasan Marshall Thruber, who used his star's charisma to enliven the mediocre action comedy Central Intelligence. Johnson plays a former FBI hostage rescue team leader, war veteran and skyscraper security assessor. Will Saver, he is working in China on the Pearl, the tallest and safest building in Hong Kong, while also living there with wife Sarah and two kids. But when a fire starts, Cyber finds himself framed by terrorists and yeah, you can probably guess where this is going. So early tracking has suggested that Skyscraper will become the year's biggest original hit. 
given that it's a rare film with 100 million dollar plus budget that it's a sequel a reboot a remake or based on a tv show a comic video game or tweet or a discarded piece of food even johnson himself subtweeted this selling it as some sort of scrappy underdog but using the word originally in the same sentence as skyscraper feels ill-fitting given that it's such a shameless regurgitation of so many other films even universal has references this in the marketing with posters mimicking both die hard and the tower towering inferno right from the opening scene we are locked into familiar box ticketing territory the film kicks off with our hero experiencing some standard character building trauma though in a somewhat unique touch it leaves our heart without a leg why it's a far cry from actual presentation of our amputees on johnson on screen it's a small step in the right direction elsewhere the script fails to make any real inroads towards that much touted originality every detail in the first act is a clumsily dropped breadcrumb to be used later on a joke about campbell's character being terrible with technology a kid's asthma a high-tech tourist attraction high in the building it's all screen writing while his heroic physique is hard to downplay johnson does a solid job in the initial scenes of convincing us that he is not the day saver we would expect he is nervous vulnerable and when he is initially thrown into action unsure on his feet but this is soon forgotten and the shift to all our out action figures stunting is all too sudden cyber's anxiety fading instantly despite being faced with a series of genuinely impossible missions which brings us to the much memed crane jump it's as silly as one would expect but it's also an undeniably giddy pleasure and coupled with another heart pumping vertigo vertigo including action sequence this is where the film work works best logic and anything resembling real work physics are not element one should expect but there was a tonal awareness during these set pieces that suggest the film's makers don't care with the film rarely being presented as anything but escapism yet there was a lack of snacky one-liners the kind that usually steer is steer a film like this into some sort of trash classic territory and we are stuck with a lumbering substandard euro villain devoid of alan rickman's flair in die hard and an insa insanely convoluted motivation that I couldn't explain to you if my family were also being held at a gunpoint. Set in China, with a seizable Asian cast on paper, Skyscraper seems to be one of the rare Western blockbusters to actually use its location and actors as integral elements. Unlike so many other big budget films that have crowbarred them into make a quick buck overviews but appearance appearances can be deceiving because as the film rattles toward its finale the asian characters don't really have much of an impact on the plot and the heroics in the final act are left entirely to the westerns at one point johnson's character remarks this is stupid a line that led to knowing laughter for the from the audience this is stupid but it's also mostly entertaining thanks to johnson and a plot that moves fast enough to retain our attention yet without enough um, the originality to ensure its lingers in our minds once the fire has been extinguished skyscraper is a 2018 american action thriller film written and directed by rasan marshall thurber Produced by Legendary Pictures, Seven Bucks Productions, and Flynn Picture Corporation. The film stars Dwayne Johnson in the lead role, Neve Campbell, Chin Han 
Roland Moller, Noah Taylor, Baron Mann, Pablo Shabir, and Hannah Quinlevan. The film follows Will Sire as a former FBI agent who must rescue his family from a newly built Hong Kong skyscraper, the tallest in the world after it is taken over by terrorists and set on fire, led by Kors Botha, who plans to steal the tablet, the first non-comedy of Thurber's career. It also marks his second collaboration with Johnson following Central Intelligence in 2016. Filming began in September 2017 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So the film premiered in Beijing on July 1, 2018 and was released in United States by Universal Pictures on July 13, 2018 in 2D and Real D 3D format and grossed over $304 million worldwide against its production budget of $125 million, making it a box office bomb. The film received mixed reviews from critics who praised Johnson's performance and the film's suspenseful scenes, but criticized the story and script as glitched and too similar to the towering Inferno and Die Hard. <clears throat> so the story of the movie, William Will Cyber, a Marine veteran turned FBI hostage rescue team leader, loses his left leg below the knee when he and HRT colleague Ben Gillespie encounter a hostage taker with a suicide bomb. Ten years later, Cyber is a private security consultant who on a recommendation for recommendation for Gilspy is hired to review security for the world's tallest skyscraper, Hong Kong's 3,500 3, feet, 225 floor tower, the Paul, for owner Zhao Longji. Cyber is joined by his wife Sarah and twin children. Georgia and Henry staying with him on the not yet opened residential floors. Sava meets with Zhao, Grispy security director, OKK and head insurance underwriter Pierce to, to report that the computerized fire and security system have passed his tests. Though he needs to inspect the off-site security center. Zhao provides him with a tablet that gives Cyber complete control over the Pearl's systems. Cyber and Glispy head to the off-site facility, but a thief hired by international terrorist Kors Botha attempts to steal the tablet. Glispy reveals he is also working for Botha and attacks Cyber for the tablet ending with Glispy's death. Botha and a group of his men break into the pearl and undermine the safety system by using a water reactive chemical to start a fire on the 96th floor, creating a barrier that renders it impossible to enter to or exit from the upper 130 floors. Cyber tries to return to the pearl but is attacked by Xia, one of the Botha's associates. Zia and her agents take the tablet and kill everyone at the off-site facility. They then use the tablet to disable the fire extinguishes system in the pearl and activate the air vents to spread the fire to the upper floors. Zhao and OKK send security guards to rescue Sire's family. But the guards are killed by an explosion and the family is believed dead. Urged on by peers, Zhao ordered the remaining personnel to evac evacuate via helicopter. But Pierce reveals he is also an FBI and agent for Botha, killing all but Zhao who escapes into his penthouse apartment 
locking it down from any intrusion. So Inspector Wu leads the local police to secure the Paul and capture Cyber, who is believed to be behind the incident. Cyber evades the man makes his way into the Paul above the fire barrier using a crane from an adjacent building. Cyber kills Pierce before Pierce can kill Cyber's family. Though Georgia is separated from the others, Cyber has Sarah and Henry right through the fire barrier in a free fall elevator before applying the emergency brakes, letting them escape safely. Sarah immediately explains the situation to Wu and that both as men will likely escape by parachute to a nearly landing zone. Cyber reaches for Georgia and after finding her they are captured by Botha, who demands Zhao in return for Georgia. Cyber is forced to dangerously scale the outside of the building to assess the security panel for Zhao's penthouse, then enters and confronts Zhao. Zhao explains that Botha had exhorted money from him during the $6 billion construction product project. But Zhao kept a detailed computer file for the transaction, who can reveal accounts and names of three crime syndicates Botha worked for. Botha instigated the attack to obtain the records. So Sire brings Zhao to Botha at the top of the skyscraper, acquiescing to the trade for Georgia. However, Zhao distracts Botha allowing Cyber and Zhao to kill Botha's thugs. Botha grabs Georgia and threatens to drop her off the building, but Cyber beats him, rescues Georgia and let Botha die in a grenade explosion as he falls. Wu leads to an attack on the likely drop zone, securing Zia and killing her thugs. Sarah recovers the tablet and used it to restart the Paul's system, extinguishing the blaze. Cyber, Georgia and Zhao are brought down safely by helicopter and the Cyber family happily reunites while Wu acknowledges and finally meets and greets Cyber. Zhao states his intention to rebuild the Paul, shown to have massive fire damage extending from the 96th floor on the to the roof so production music marketing and release on may 26 2016 it was announced that legendary entertainment had won the bidding war for the chinese set action adventure film skyscraper in which Dwayne johnson was set to play the lead russell marshall thurber was attached as the film's scriptwriter director and producer with the B. O. Flynn producing the film through the Flynn Picture Company alongside Johnson's Seven Buck Productions with Universal Pictures handling distribution rights. On June 22, 2017, it was reported that Nave Campbell has signed on to star with Johnson, who plays the head of security for the skyscraper, Maggie Q. Rachel Wilson, Jamie Alexander, and Mira. Sorvino were also considered in July 2017. Tin Han and Pablo Schreiber joined the cast in August 2017. Byron Mann, Hannah Quinnivan, Noah Taylor, and Roland Muller were added to the cast. So, principal, principal photography on the film began on August 14, 2017, in Vancouver, British Columbia. Additional photography and exteriors were filmed at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Architectural rendering of the 25 story tall skyscraper was based on the Chinese inspirations. According to the New York Post, production designer Jim Bissell and his team researched local myth for inspiration and come upon a Chinese fable they could work with. During post production, the visual effects were 
provided by moving picture company method studio image engine and industrial light and magic the visual were sub supervised by craig hammock joe's burgos barhard kim barcher and jason bellington steve japlonski composed the film's score with which uses elements of guitar synthesized drums and traditional orchestra the soundtrack was digitally released on july 13 2018 by milan records with the physical soundtrack being released later on august 33 2018 british singer and songwriter jamie n commons performed the song waltz which plays in the credit end credit of the film so universal released the first official trailer in february 2018 and the second trailer on may 23 2018 Promo posters in the form of the towering Enfomo and Die Hard were created, referencing the stylistic links between those films and Skyscraper. Skyscraper was released in the United States as well as several international territories in 3D and standard formats on July 13, 2018, by Universal Pictures. The film also secured a uh, July 20, 2018. The release date in China a rarity as mainstream Hollywood films are seldom released these during the month of July to make room for domestic films Skyscraper premiered in Beijing on July 1 2018 and also held a screening in Hong Kong on July 7 2018 Skyscraper was released digitally on September 25 2018 and released on Blu-ray DVD Blu-ray 3D and 4K Blu-ray on October 2 2018 So Skyscraper grossed 68.4 million US dollars in the United States and Canada and 336.4 US dollars million US dollars in the other territories for a total of gross 304.9 million US dollars against a production budget of 125 million US dollars so on the review aggregator website rotten tomatoes 48% of 293 critics review are positive with an aggregate rating of 5.20 out of 10 the website's consensus reads well cast yet derivative skyscraper isn't exactly a towering action thriller feat but it's solidly constructed enough to stand among the genre more mildly diverting features on metacritics which assigns a weighted average rating to review the film has a score of 51 out of 100 based on 42 critics indicating mixed on average reviews audiences poll by cinema score gave the film an average grade of b plus on a a plus to f scale who oh, the signature promotional image of skyscraper the latest johnny johnson summer extravaganza featuring the charismatic blockbuster star hanging from a soaring building by only his left hand his wedding ring gleams prominently in the foreground illuminated by the deadly blaze that dragging all around him the ring draws our attention as powerfully as the earnest intensity in his eyes a reminder that not unlike the fast and furious franchise in which johnson figures so prominently the story is all about family mainly though it's a mindless smash up of die hard and the towering inferno just intense enough to provide a much needed diversion just like wait enough to make you forget about it soon after it's over it's not exactly good per se but it does have what it sets out to do in term of putting up on edge which makes it successful but writer director rasan marshall thurber has attempted the problematic combination of making you feel good about bravery and resilience while also making you feel nothing about the countless bodies that get 
blown on bits in a hail of automatic gunfire. Many, many people die needlessly in the PG-13 spectacle in the name of thrills maybe. Character development. The international cadre of criminals who take over a Hong Kong high-rise, the tallest st structure in the world, three times the size of the Empire State Building, are clearly singularly bad. Having them burst into people's offices and obliterate them entirely, while the camera steers away from the bloodshed per MPAA guidelines feel gratuitous. You are not here to think though. You are here to have fun and skyscraper does indeed provide that in its many design and death defying action sequences. It's the connective tissue between the daring stunts that films. But first, a flashback to 10 years ago. Johnson's Will Cyber is a highly trained Marine and FBI agent who is in charge of a hostage negotiation that goes horribly wrong. Having lost his left leg below the knee in that explosion incident, Will now serves as a security consultant. His latest job has taken him, his wife Sarah and their twins to Hong Kong where he must analyze the safety of the pearl before it opens. A shining self-contained city stretching 200 plus stories into the clouds. It's the brainchild of billionaire Zhao Longji. Characters stand around and provide painfully clunky expository dialogue, all of which will matter at some point later. Detailing the building's many high-tech features. Not for long though, Thurber isn't terribly interested in steadily building tension. Skyscraper kicks into a gear pretty quickly and remains relentless. A team of villains led by the menacing Kors Botha has broken in with highly flammable chemicals in order to steal the most McGuffiny of McGuffins. But when they torch the joint, they don't realize that Will's wife and kids are still inside one of the residential units. And as the flames rise higher and higher from the what begin as a thin orange line on the 96th floor, the danger and the insanity climb with them. Of course, because it's Johnson's playing his character, he will do whatever he must to save them. With each new obstacle that comes his way, presenting a more ridiculous challenge than the last. But what's novel about Johnson in this role is that he's, com he's not completely indestructible. His character uses a prosthetic leg. And the film cleverly uses that as an asset, not an impediment. Individual moments certainly stand out with the staggeringly overqualified Robert Alswist. Placing us in the midst of the fairy madness, Wells climb to the top of a hundred story crane and his leap across the night sky to the pearl through a broken window is thrillingly staged. So, so is his use of duct tape to a patch up his wound before B, placing it on his hands and feet to Spider-Man his way across the glass exterior. One of the more enjoyable parts of Skyscraper and this was also true of Die Hard, is the way it makes us feel as if we are figuring out the plan minute by minute alongside the far more capable hero on the screen. Skyscraper also provides a surprisingly solid role for Campbell. Sarah is never a damsel in distress, but rather a combat trainer, surgeon, 
capable of kicking her own allotment of but while also caring for her kids imagine if she were the one tasked with saving the day and her family and the entire building now that would try be trying be chiller when the first footage from skyscraper was launched earlier this that year most online conservation revolved around the staggering incredibility of the trailer's money shot Dwayne Johnson the rock making the Ethan Hunt SQ leap from a crane into the broken window of a building everyone from the math professor to meme makers critiqued the physic and even Johnson snappily responded on Twitter but for me the most unlikely element was the inclusion of Johnson himself how on earth does the wrestler turned actor find the time to headline so many damn movies does he sleep has he undergone a multiplicity like experimental cloning procedure because in the last 7 months he managed to game a winning 962 million dollar worldwide from a belated jomanji sequel aim turn the arcade adaptation rampage into a stampending 424 million dollar global smash he is easily the most bankable star working in hollywood today as well as one of the most likable but can his star power extend to three box office hits in such a short period of time reuniting with the director rasam Rasan Marshall Thrubber who used his star's charisma to enliven the mediocre action comedy Central Intelligence Johnson plays a former FBI hostage rescue team leader war veteran and skyscraper security assassin Will Sauer he is working in China on the Paul the tallest and safest building in Hong Kong while also living there with wife Sarah and two kids but when a fire starts cyber finds himself framed by terrorist and yeah you can probably guess where this is going so early tracking has suggested that skyscraper will become the year's biggest original hit given that it's a rare film with 100 million dollar plus budget that It's a sequel, a reboot, a remake, or based on a TV show, a comic, video game, or tweet, or a discarded piece of food. Even Johnson himself subtweeted this, selling it as some sort of scrappy underdog, but using the word "original" in the same sentence as "soup sky scapel feels ill-fitting," given that it's such a shameless regurgitation. of so many other films even universal has references this in the marketing with posters mimicking both die hard and the tower towering inferno right from the opening scene we are locked into familiar box ticketing territory the film kicks off with our hero experiencing some standard character building trauma though in a somewhat unique touch it leaves our heart without a leg why it's a far cry from actual presentation of or empties on johnson on screen it's a small step in the right direction as where the script fails to make any real inroads towards that much touted originality every detail in the first act is a clumsily dropped breadcrumb to be used later on a joke about Campbell's character being terrible with technology a kids asthma a high tech tourist attraction high in the building it's all screen writing while his heroic physic is hard to downplay johnson does a solid job in the initial scenes of convincing us that he is not the day saver we would expect he is nervous vulnerable and when he is initially thrown into action unsure on his feet 
but this is soon forgotten and the shift to all our out action figure stunting is all too sudden cyber's anxiety fading instantly despite being faced with a series of genuinely impossible missions which brings us to the much memed crane jump it's as silly as one would expect but it's also an undeniably giddy pleasure and coupled with another heart pumping vertigo vertigo including action sequence this is where the film work works best logic and anything resembling real work physics are not element one should expect but there's a tonal awareness during these set pieces that suggests the film's makers don't care with the film really being presented as anything but escapism yet there is a lack of snacky one liners the kind that usually steer is steer a film like this into some sort of trash classic territory and we are stuck with a lumbering substandard euro villain devoid of alan drickman's flair in die hard and an insa insanely convoluted motivation that i couldn't explain to you if my family were also being held at a gunpoint set in china with a sizable asian cast on paper skyscraper seems to be one of the rare western blockbuster to actually use its location and actors as integral elements unlike so many other big budget films that have crowbarred them into make a quick buck overseas but appearance appearances can be deceiving because as the film rattles toward its finale the asian characters don't really have much of an impact on the plot and the heroics in the final act are left entirely to the westerns at one point johnson's character remarks this is stupid a line that led to knowing laughter for the from the audience this is stupid but it's also mostly entertaining thanks to johnson and a plot that moves fast enough to retain our attention yet without enough hum the originality to ensure its lingers in our minds once the fire has been extinguished skyscraper is a 2018 american action thriller film written and directed by Rasan Marshall Thurber produced by Legendary Pictures Seven Bucks Productions and Flynn Picture Corporation the film stars Dwayne Johnson in the lead role Neve Campbell Chin Han Roland, Roland Moller Noah Taylor Baron Mann Pablo Shebbert and Hannah Quinn Levin the film follows Will Sire as a former FBI agent who must rescue his family from a newly built hong kong skyscraper the tallest in the world after it is taken over by terrorists and set on fire led by cores botha who plans to steal the tablet the first non comedy of thurber's career it also marks his second collaboration with johnson following central intelligence in 2016 filming began in september 2017 in vancouver british columbia canada So the film premiered in Beijing on July 1, 2018 and was released in United States by Universal Pictures on July 13, 2018 in 2D and Real D 3D format and grossed over 304 million dollars worldwide against its production budget of 125 million dollars making it a box office bomb. The film received mixed reviews from critics who praised Johnson's performance and the film's suspenseful scenes. but criticized the story and script as glitched and too similar to the towering inferno and die hard <clears throat> so the story of the movie william will cyber a marine veteran turned fbi hostage rescue team leader loses his left leg below the knee when he and hrt colleague ben gillespie encounter a hostage taker with a suicide bomb 10 years later cyber is a private security consultant 
who on a recommendation for recommendation for Gillespie is hired to review security for the world's tallest skyscraper, Hong Kong's 3,500 3, feet, 225 floor tower, the Paul, for owner Zhao Longji. Cyber is joined by his wife Sarah and twin children, Georgia and Henry, staying with him on the not yet opened residential floors. Cyber meets with Zhao. Grispy Security Director OKK and Head Insurance Underwriter Pierce to, to report that the computerized fire and security system have passed his tests. Though he needs to inspect the off-site security center. Zhao provides him with a tablet that gives Cyber complete control over the Pearl's systems. Cyber and Grispy head to the off-site facility, but a thief hired by international terrorist Kors Botha attempts to steal the tablet. Gillespie reveals he is also working for Botha and attacks Cyber for the tablet ending with Gillespie's death. Botha and a group of his men break into the pearl and undermine the safety system by using a water reactive chemical to start a fire on the 96th floor, creating a barrier that renders it impossible to enter to or exit from the upper 130 floors. Cyber tries to return to the Pearl but is attacked by Xia, one of the Botha's associates. Xia and her agents take the tablet and kill everyone at the off-site facility. They then use the tablet to disable the fire extinguishers system in the Pearl and activate the air vents to spread the fire to the upper floors. Zhao and OKK send security guards to rescue Cyber's family. But the guards are killed by an explosion and the family is believed dead. Urged on by peers, Zhao ordered the remaining personnel to evac evacuate via helicopter. But Pierce reveals he is also an FBI and agent for Botha, killing all but Zhao who escapes into his penthouse apartment, locking it down from any intrusion. So Inspector Wu leads the local police to secure the Paul and capture Cyber, who is believed to be behind the incident. Cyber evades them and makes his way into the Pearl above the fire barrier using a crane from an adjacent building. Cyber kills Pierce before Pierce can kill Cyber's family. Though Georgia is separated from the others, Cyber has Sarah and Henry right through the fire barrier in a free fall elevator before applying the emergency brakes letting them escape safely. Sarah immediately explains the situation to Wu and that Botha's men will likely escape by parachute to a nearly landing zone. Cyber reaches for Georgia and after finding her, they are captured by Botha, who demands Zhao in return for Georgia. Cyber is forced to dangerously scale the outside of the building to assess the security panel for Zhao's penthouse then enters and confronts Zhao. Zhao explains that Botha had extorted money from him during the $6 billion construction product project, but Zhao kept a detailed computer file for the transaction, who can reveal accounts and names of three crime syndicates Botha worked for. Botha instigated the attack to obtain the records. So Sire brings Zhao to Botha at the top of the skyscraper acquiescing to the trade for Georgia. However, Zhao distracts Botha, allowing Cyber and Zhao to kill Botha's thugs. Botha grabs Georgia and threatens to drop her off the building, but Cyber beats him, rescues Georgia and lets Botha die in a grenade explosion as he fa falls, who leads to an attack on the likely drop zone, securing Zia and killing her thugs. Sarah recovers the tablet and used it to restart the Paul's system extinguishing the blaze. Cyber, Georgia and Zhao are brought down safely by a helicopter and the Cyber family happily reunites while Wu acknowledges and finally meets and greets Cyber. Zhao states his intention to rebuild the pearl, shown to have massive fire damage extending from the 96th floor on the, to the roof. So production, music, marketing and release on May 26, 20. 
16, it was announced that Legendary Entertainment had won the bidding war for the Chinese set action adventure film Skyscraper, in which Dwayne Johnson was set to play the lead. Russell Marshall Thurber was attached as the film's scriptwriter, director, and producer, with B. O. Flynn producing the film through the Flynn Picture Company alongside Johnson's Seven Buck Productions, with Universal Pictures handling distribution rights. On June 22, 2017, it was reported that Nave Campbell has signed on to star with Johnson, who plays the head of security for the skyscraper, Maggie Q, Rachel Wilson. Jamie Alexander and Mira Sorvino were also considered. In July 2017, Tin Han and Pablo Schreiber joined the cast. In August 2017, Byron Mann, Hannah Quinnivillivan, Noah Taylor and Roland Muller were added to the cast. So principal, principal photography on the film began on August 14, 2017 in Vancouver, British Columbia. Additional photography and exteriors were filmed at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Architectural rendering of the 2025 story tells Skyscraper was based on the Chinese inspirations. According to the New York Post, production designer Jim Bissell and his team researched local myth for inspiration and come upon a Chinese fable they could work with. During post-production, the visual effects were provided by Moving Picture Company, Method Studio, image engine and industrial light and magic the visual were sub supervised by craig hammock joe's burgos barhard kim barcher and jason bellington steve japlonski composed the film's score with which uses elements of guitar synthesized drums and traditional orchestra the soundtrack was digitally released on july 13 2018 by milan records with the physical soundtrack being released later on august 33 2018 british singer and songwriter jamie n commons performed the song wars which plays in the credit and credit of the film so universal released the first official trailer in february 2018 and the second trailer on may 23 2018 promo posters in the form of the towering informo and die hard were created referencing the stylistic links between those films and Skyscraper. Skyscraper was released in the United States as well as several international territories in 3D and standard formats on July 13, 2018 by Universal Pictures. The film also secured a July 2018 a release date in China, a rarity as mainstream Hollywood films are seldom released these during the month of July to make room for domestic films. Skyscraper premiered in Beijing on July 1, 2018 and also held a screening in Hong Kong on July 7, 2018. Skyscraper was released digitally on September 25, 2018 and released on Blu-ray, DVD, Blu-ray, 3D and 4K Blu-ray on October 2, 2018. So Skyscraper grossed 68.4 million US dollars in the United States and Canada and 336.4 US dollars million US dollars in the other territories for a total of across 304.9 million US dollars against a production budget of 125 million US dollars. So on the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes 48% of 293 critics review are positive with an aggregate rating of 5.20 out of 10 the website's consensus reads well cast yet derivative skyscraper isn't exactly a towering action thriller feat but it's solidly constructed enough to stand among the younger more mildly diverting features on metacritics which assigns a weighted average rating to review the film has a score of 51 out of 100 based on 42 critics indicating mixed on average reviews audiences Poll by Cinema Score gave the film an average grade of V plus on an A plus to F scale. Oh, the signature promotional image of Skyscraper, the latest Johnny Johnson summer extravaganza, featuring the charismatic blockbuster star hanging from a soaring building by only his left hand. His wedding ring gleams prominently in the foreground, illuminated by the deadly blaze that's dragging all around him. The ring draws our attention as powerfully as the earnest intensity in his eyes. A reminder that, not unlike the Fast and Furious franchisee in which Johnson figures so prominently, the story is all about family, mainly though it's a mindless smash-up of Die Hard and the towering Inferno. 
just intense enough to provide a much needed diversion just lightweight enough to make you forget about it soon after it's over it's not exactly good per se but it does have what it sets out to do in term of putting up on edge which makes it successful but writer director rasan marshall thorbar has attempted the problematic combination of making you feel good about bravery and resilience while also making you feel nothing about the countless bodies that get blown on bits in a hail of automatic gunfire many many people die needlessly in the pg13 spectacle in the name of thrills maybe character development the international cadre of criminals who take over a hong kong high rise the tallest structure in the world three times the size of the empire state building are clearly singularly bad having them burst into people's offices and obliterate them entirely while the camera steers away from the bloodshed per mpaa guidelines feel gratuitous you are not here to think though you are here to have fun in skyscraper does indeed provide that in its many dizzying and death defying action sequences it's the connective tissue between the daring stunts that films but first a flashback to 10 years ago johnson's will cyber is a highly trained marine and fbi agent who is in charge of a hostage negotiation that goes horribly wrong having lost his left leg below the knee in that explosion incident will now serves as a security consultant his latest job has taken him his wife sara and their twins to hong kong where he must analyze the safety of the pearl before it opens a shining self contained city stretching 200 plus stories into the clouds it's the brain child of billionaire zhao longji characters stands around and provide painfully clunky expository dialogue all of which will matter at some point later detailing the buildings many high tech features not for long though thorber isn't terribly interested in steadily building tension skyscraper kicks into a gear pretty quickly and remains relentless a team of villains led by the menacing cores botha has broken in with highly flammable chemicals in order to steal the most mcguffini of mcguffins But when they touch the joint, they don't realize that Will's wife and kids are still inside one of the residential units. And as the flames rise higher and higher from the what began as a thin orange line on the 96th floor, the danger and the insanity climb with them. Of course, because it's Johnson's playing his character, he will do whatever he must to save them. With each new obstacle that comes his way, presenting a more ridiculous challenge than the last. but what's novel about johnson in this role is that he's com- he's not completely indestructible indestructible his character uses a prosthetic leg and the film cleverly uses that as an asset not an impediment individual moments certainly stand out with the st- staggeringly overqualified robert alswist placing us in the midst of the fairy madness wells climb to the top of a 100 story crane and his leap across the night sky to the pole through a broken window is thrillingly staged so so is his use of duct tape to a patch up his wound before b placing it on his hands and feet to spiderman his way across the glass exterior one of the more enjoyable parts of skyscraper and this was also true of die hard is the way it makes us feel as if we are figuring out the plan minute by minute alongside the far more capable hero on the screen skyscraper also provides a surprisingly solid role for campbell sara is never a damsel in distress but rather a combat trainer surgeon capable of kicking her own allotment of but while also caring for her kids imagine if she were the one tasked with saving the day and her family and the entire building now that would try be trying be chiller when the first footage from skyscraper was launched earlier the 
that year most online conservation revolved around the staggering incredulity of the trailer's money shot Dwayne Johnson the rock making the Ethan Hunt SQ leap from a crane into the broken window of a building everyone from the math professor to meme makers critiqued the physic and even Johnson snappily responded on Twitter but for me the most unlikely element was the inclusion of Johnson himself how on earth does the wrestler turned actor find the time to headline so many damn movies does he sleep has he undergone a multiplicity like experimental cloning procedure because in the last seven months he managed to game a winning 962 million dollar worldwide from a belated jomanji sequel and turn the arcade adaption rampage into a stampending 424 million dollar global smash he is easily the most bankable star working in hollywood today as well as one of the most likable but can his star power extend to three box office hits in such a short period of time reuniting with the director rasam rasan marshall thruber who used his star's charisma to enliven the mediocre action comedy central intelligence johnson plays a former fbi hostage rescue team leader war veteran and skyscraper security assessor will saver he was working in china on the pearl the tallest and safest building in hong kong while also living there with wife sarah and two kids but when a fire starts cyber finds himself framed by terrorists and yeah you can probably guess where this is going so early checking has suggested that skyscraper will become the year's biggest original hit given that it's a rare film with 100 million dollar plus budget that it's a sequel a reboot a remake or based on a tv show a comic video game or tweet or a discarded piece of food even johnson himself subtweeted this selling it as some sort of scrappy underdog but using the word original in the same sentence as soup skyscraper feels ill-fitting given that it's such a shameless regurgitation of so many other films even universal has references this in the marketing with posters mimicking both Die Hard and the Tower Towering Inferno. Right from the opening scene, we are locked into familiar box ticketing territory. The film kicks off with our hero experiencing some standard character building trauma. Though in a somewhat unique touch, it leaves our heart without a leg. Why? It's a far cry from actual presentation of our amputees on Johnson on screen. It's a small step in the right direction, as where the script fails to make any real inroads towards that much touted originality. Every detail in the first act is a clumsily chopped breadcrumb to be used later on. A joke about Campbell's character being terrible with technology, a kid's asthma, a high tech tourist attraction high in the building, it's all screenwriting. While his heroic physique is hard to downplay, Johnson does a solid job in the initial scenes of convincing us that he is not the day saver we would expect. He is nervous, vulnerable, and when he is initially thrown into action, unsure on his feet. But this is soon forgotten, and the shift to all our out action figures stunting is all too sudden. Cyber's anxiety fading instantly despite being faced with a series of genuinely impossible missions. Which brings us to the much memed crane jump. It's as silly as one would expect, but it's also an undeniably giddy pleasure and coupled with another heart pumping vertigo, vertigo including action sequence. This is where the film work works best. Logic and anything resembling real work physics are not element one should expect, but there was a tonal awareness during these set pieces that suggest the film's makers don't care, with the film rarely being presented as anything but escapism. Yet, there was a lack of snacky one-liners, the kind that usually steer, is steer a film like this into some sort of trash classic territory, and we are stuck with a lumbering substandard euro villain devoid of alan drickman's flair in die hard and an insane, insanely 
convoluted motivation that I couldn't explain to you if my family were also being held at a gunpoint. Set in China with a sizable Asian cast on paper skyscrapers seems to be one of the rare western blockbusters to actually use its location and actors as integral elements. Unlike so many other big budget films that have crowbat them into make a quick buck overwise. But appearance, appearances can be deceiving because as the film rattles toward its finale, the Asian characters don't really have much of an impact on the plot and the heroics in the final act are left entirely to the westerns. At one point, Johnson's character remarks this is stupid, a line that led to knowing laughter for the, from the audience. This is stupid but it's also mostly entertaining thanks to Johnson and a plot that moves fast enough to retain our attention yet without enough um, the originality to ensure it lingers in our minds once the fire has been extinguished.